What is up guys, Rand Monim here. Today we're going to be talking about pick rates, win rates, and ban rates. What do they mean? Are they indicators of a champion's strength? Are they indicators that a champion should be buffed or nerfed? We'll be talking about all of that, as well as how all of these different statistics relate to each other, and how they can give you a better idea on a champion's strength, and uh, whether or not you should possibly pick them up in the future. So the thing that everybody likes to talk about is win rate. You always see people make posts about, oh, this champion has such a high win rate or such a low win rate. Uh, they need to either be you know, nerfed or buffed. But really, you also have to talk about pick rate and ban rate, among a lot of other factors. But these are the big three that I'm going to be talking about in this video. And what's really important is actually how these all uh, relate to each other and uh, how one can possibly influence the other. So the first thing we really need to talk about is win rate as a function of how many games a particular player has played on that champion. Now we always want to try and have around a 50% win rate on a champion, but a specific player's win rate with a champion will vary based on how experienced they are with that champion. You'll see with a lot of like medium difficulty champions that win rate is kind of a linear function with the, the games that the player has played with that champion. And if we're looking at champions that are considered more easy, you, you'll see that at the lower experience range, uh, people will have a higher win rate, but that win rate actually kind of tapers off. And typically it actually is, is a bit lower um, at the higher um, experience level compared to like medium range champions. And then finally for champions that have a really high difficulty level, you'll see that they have very low win rates uh, among inexperienced players and very high win rates among very experienced players. So we can see that uh, how high a champion's win rate is a function of who is playing the champion, right? If all you have are very experienced players playing a champion, then the win rate will be much higher than if you have a bunch of inexperienced players playing the champion. And that's how uh, win rate really affects your play rate. So we can basically look at champion mains and non-mains who are playing the champion. And really we want to be looking at pick rate and win rate. So for example, let's say that the uh, champion mains, the people who main a champion, make up about a 1% pick rate. This will vary from champion to champion. Sometimes it'll be less than 1%, sometimes it'll be greater than 1%, but for simplicity's sake, let's just say it's 1%. This number pretty much stays um, constant. It changes very, very slowly over time. Uh, it takes a lot of time for people to pick up a champion, so the amount of players that consider themselves a champion main remains relatively constant patch to patch. And what you see is a lot of times that people who ha are champion mains have a very high win rate. It can be 60%, it can even be higher than 60% among people who have you know over 100 games with this particular champion. For looking at non-mains, this number can be small, it can be less than 1%, it can be 1%, or it can be much greater than 1%, it can be you know 10 or 20%. So this number will fluctuate on a patch-to-patch -patch basis based off of the champion's popularity. Uh, and typically you'll see among non-mains that they'll have a much lower win rate with the champion than people who are maining the champion. So for this example, we're going to say that non-mains on average have about a 45% win rate with the champion. So for this example, if we've got uh, champion mains have a 1% pick rate and non-mains have a 1% pick rate, that'll give the champion a overall win percentage of 52.5%. People say, wow, that's really high. That's a lot higher than 50%. Maybe that champion uh, needs to be nerfed. However, if we just change the pick rate of the champion, uh, we'll see that the number of champion mains is going to increase. So the pick rate among champion mains is still 1% but non-mains has been increased to about 5%. So as a champion becomes more popular, the number of non-mains will increase, and this will actually cause the win rate to drop. So you can see that if we increase the pick rate of non-mains from 1% to 5%, that drops the champion's overall win rate to 47.5%. So that's a 5% drop in uh, win rate, just because more people started playing the champion. And now you're saying, oh wow, maybe the champion just needs to be buffed because they've only got a 47.5% win rate. So you can see how uh, pick rate can influence win rate. And actually what we see is that um, the relationship between pick rate and win rate is re inversely proportional. 
So as pick rate increases, win rate decreases. And the same can be true that if pick rate decreases, then win rate will increase up to a certain point, because obviously there, there's a set number of people who are going to be champion mains, and they will always have a very high win rate, but they'll never have, you know, 100% win rate with a champion. <clears throat> However, if we're looking at a champion and the pick rate uh, increases and the win rate also increases, then it's pretty safe to assume the champion has been buffed. Uh, and this is how you can kind of tell whether or not a change to a champion, if it's unclear whether it's a buff or a nerf, all you got to do is look at the pick rate and the win rate to see whether or not it's actually a buff or a nerf to the champion. And then conversely, if the pick rate drops and the win rate also drops, then that means that the champion has been nerfed. <clears throat> So we also have to talk about new champions. We're talking about pick rate, win rate, things like that. So when a new champion comes out, nobody's going to be experienced with the champion. So everybody's going to be on kind of the left side of this uh, graph. So you can see that no matter what the difficulty level of the champion is, if it's an easy champion to master or a hard champion to master, typically we're going to see the win rates for a new champion be less than 50%, even if the champion is actually balanced. And then as people become more experienced with the champion, their win rates are going to increase. So we see this all the time. A new champion comes out, the win rates are horrible on that champion. Everybody says this champion needs a buff. But really, it's a factor of player experience, not on champion strength. So just be patient with a champion. A champion's going to be very bad when it first comes out. That's pretty much guaranteed. Uh, as people get more familiar with the champion, the win rate will improve. If a champion comes out and their win rate is already above like 50% right when they come out, then that's a sign that the champion is actually really overpowered. Okay, so let's also talk about champion rework. So after a champion is reworked, we expect the pick rate for the champion is going to increase because everybody wants to play the new uh, version of that champion. So this is going to cause win rates for that champion to drop. Even if that champion is the same strength as they were before, just by the fact that their popularity is increasing will cause their win rate to go down. Additionally, you see a second factor which causes their win rate to go down because people are not as familiar with the champion. They kind of lose some of that experience. It's, it's kind of a quasi-new champion, so you expect to see people's uh, win rates to drop just because of lack of experience. So it's perfectly normal when a champion gets reworked to have their win rate drop by a relatively um, moderate amount. Uh, and then after a period of time, you'll see that win rate start to creep back up again. However, if uh, we have a champion rework and, you know, the pick rate goes up as we would expect, but the win rate stays about the same, or it call if the win rate is actually higher than it was before the rework, then that means that the rework is actually much stronger than the pre-reworked champion. So that's pretty much a champion got buffed, essentially. So if you see that uh, win rates are the same or they increase after a champion rework, that means the champion is much stronger post-rework. And then conversely, if we have a champion rework and the pick rates go up but the win rate drops dramatically, that means that the champion is actually much weaker post-rework than they were uh, pre-rework. So the other thing we have to talk about is um, player experience and indications of whether or not a champion needs to be buffed or nerfed based off of win rates of inexperienced players or more experienced players. So for example, if we see that inexperienced players have a very high win rate with a champion, like if their win rate is 50% or higher and they're very inexperienced, and that's an indication that the champion mains, the people who are really good at the champion, have absurdly high win rates on the champion. And that's really a sign that the champion should be nerfed. So when you're looking at a lot of these uh, win rate graphs, if you look at inexperienced players, if they have a very high win rate and they're very inexperienced, or if the uh, average number of games played is very low on a champion, but they still have a very high win rate, that's a sign that the champion's kind of overpowered, and they're probably going to be nerfed soon, or they should be nerfed soon. Conversely, if we see that uh, the mains of a champion, the people who have, you know, 100 or more games on a specific champion, 
have win rates that are only 50% or even maybe less than 50%, that's a sign that the champion should be buffed or that they're very underpowered. And if you're in a type of situation where the champion can't be buffed because the people at the highest skill level, we're talking, you know, the LCS and the pro level, the challenger level, uh, can play that champion so well that it's actually broken at that level. And that's a sign that the champion probably needs to be reworked. And we've seen this a lot with like Callista, Azir, uh, pre-reworked Poppy, things like that, where the champion, you have to keep the champion in a nerfed status because if you had them be kind of like a normal champion, uh, that high tier level, those people who have just champion mastery, uh, would make that champion way too powerful. All right, so the final thing we haven't talked about is ban rate. So I think we've established pretty clearly what the relationship between um, play rate and win rate is. But ban rate is not a objective measurement of a champion's strength. It's a subjective measurement. It actually is perceived strength. And uh, a lot of people seem to think that it's a measure of actual strength, and it's not. It's a measure of perceived strength. Uh, it really measures how strong people feel the champion is, rather than how strong the champion actually is. And a lot of times, a high ban rate is really kind of uh, an annoyance factor, like how annoying people find the champion. So you see this a lot with, you know, Lee Sin, uh, Rangar, you see it with... Um, Yasuo, Zed, a lot of assassin champions, anybody who has a very high annoyance factor and you feel like there's not as much counterplay with them, they typically have very high ban rates, even if they are in a bad state of balance. Even if they have very low win rates, they might still have a very high ban rate because they're just uh, very challenging to play against if the person knows how to play them. However, if you have a situation where the ban rate plus the play rate is extremely high, uh, that's a sign that there is an issue, right? If you've got like a ban rate of 70% and you've got a play rate of like 20%, um, even if the champion's win rate is not very high, that's a sign that there's an issue because uh, that basically means that the, the champions being played in nearly every single game that they can be played in. Uh, and that's a sign that, you know, even though people who don't know how to play the champion might be playing that champion a lot because there's a lot of perceived strength, uh, it could be a sign that the champion mains are just completely overpowering everything, and that's what's driving that high ban rate. So keep in mind that ban rate is not normally a good indicator of champion strength but if ban rate and pick rate are both very high then you definitely should be looking at that champion for potential nerfs in the future so the last thing i wanted to talk about is the different types of websites that you can go on to that will provide you with a lot of really great statistical information so that you can make your own opinions on these topics and draw your own conclusions the first one i want to talk about is lolalytics.com this is actually my favorite statistical website um, and i highly encourage you guys all check it out probably the most popular one is champion.gg and this is also a fantastic website it gives some great information and actually breaks down uh, win rates based off of player experience, which is something that is very important to look at. Uh, there's two other websites that are really great. Leagueofgraphs.com gives some great information on uh, the history of win rates and pick rates and ban rates over a very long period of time. And then op.gg is also a fantastic resource. They have a champion analytics page, and they also have a statistics page which kind of breaks down a lot of different great things. So I highly encourage you guys to check out all of those sites uh, and draw your own conclusions. I don't want to tell you guys what's overpowered or underpowered. I want you guys to go to those websites, research, make your own conclusions. So I've got two questions for you guys. You guys can leave it in the comments below. So the, my first question is, who do you think should be buffed or nerfed based off of win rates, play rates, and ban rates. I don't want you guys to just leave a comment saying, you know, oh, I think this champion should be nerfed because I just hate playing against that champion. 
I really want you guys to say, all right, this champion's got a really high pick rate, they've got a really high win rate, therefore they probably need to be nerfed. Or conversely, you know, they've got really low win rates and very low pick rates, maybe they need to be buffed. And then secondly, I want to know, who do you ban regardless of how good they are? So even if the champion doesn't have very high win rates or things like that or very high pick rates, you still ban them because you just hate playing against that champion. For me, it's actually Yasuo. I just hate playing against Yasuo. So um, a lot of times I'll just ban him no matter what, what state he is. Even if he's not very good, I'll still ban him. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on the channel, please subscribe. I hope you all have a great day. This is Randomonium signing off.